don't know if you got the message or not, but our commander in chief, Joe Biden, he's here to kick ass and drink insure, and he just ran out of insure. Chris, play the clip. Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia, for free people refused to live in a world of hopelessness and darkness. We will have a different future, a brighter future, rooted in democracy and principles, hope and light, of decency and dignity, of freedom and possibilities. For God's sake, this man cannot remain (coughs) in power. Hey, Joe Biden. You remember when you were a kid, you went to go shopping at the grocery store with your mom, and sometimes you'd get into a cookie aisle instead of reaching for the Oreos, which is what you really wanted. She'd get you those off-brand Hydrox cookies down on the low shelf. You remember those? Uh, the ones that kind of had that Oreo sandwich cookie look about them, but they tasted like they were made with sadness and wall spackling. That's our current president, folks. When you're shopping in the store for presidents, this guy, he's, a, he's not even on the cookie aisle on the bottom shelf where they don't care if you shoplift it. He's in the bargain bin hanging around somewhere at the bottom beneath the rummage through Franklin Roosevelt's and Jimmy Carter's. For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power, says the man who's supposed to have one finger on the pulse of American foreign policy abroad and the other finger on a nuclear button and instead has crammed all his fingers up where the sun don't shine, apparently. Now, the real question that's on everyone lip, or everybody's lips right now is whether or not Biden meant what he said. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and the upper echelon of the administration have assured us that Biden was only commenting on how terrible Putin is, but not suggesting regime change. And hey, that could be. Who the hell knows what's going on inside the head of Joe Biden right now? It definitely could be that the case that this is Biden letting the cat out of the bag on some wartime activity we're about to engage ourselves in as a nation. If so, you need to be asking yourself where you stand on that right now, because providing humanitarian aid to a war-torn country and even providing weapons to them is a whole lot different than us deciding that we're going to wade in and try to wrestle the bear to the ground. In a normal ground fight, it would, wouldn't really be much of a question probably, but of course, we got the whole nuclear situation to worry about with Putin, so that sort of complicates things in a major way, wouldn't you say? I have no doubt that Joe Biden is capable of landing us in a terrible and probably unnecessary war. He's shown himself extraordinarily adept at doing shit like that so far, and it's barely been a year. But I also kind of have to imagine that a big part of him saying what he said is that he wants to he wants to have one of those tear down this wall moments like Reagan had in the penultimate moments of the Soviet Union. And, of course, you also have to think that he's got every famous uplifting movie speech he's ever heard rolling around in there as well. The full version might go a little something like this. Corn Putin was a bad dude, and I I kicked his ass. He used to run his his, his, his his fingers through the hair on my legs. No joke, man. And Frodo's going to get the ring to Mordor, man. He's he's go-to for God's sake, man. A a day may come when the courage of men and and women and transgenders and, and Latinx, when they fail, man, no joke. Maybe it's fate that today is the 4th of July and we're, we're fighting for our freedom from enunciation, renun- renunciate, you know, the thing. And we'll fight them in the trenches and we'll fight them on the beaches, especially those nude beaches, man. That's where we're taking the fight, man. No joke, because this is serious. This is part of what it means to be an American patriot. No joke, man. Let's go, Brandon. Wow. That could have come right that could have come right out of his mouth. 